Today is Greendale's annual winter fest. Ooh. They have a, a Hawaiian theme this year. Oh. Sure would be nice to be in Hawaii right now. <laughs> Think warm thoughts. We've got Hawaiian dancers, ice carving, uh, kids activities, and a chili cook-off that's from 10 to 4 in historic downtown Greendale today. Grass skirt not required, right? <laughs> that's right. Over the snowsuit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What we, this is uh, out east. Yeah, this is out east. Take a look at the National Weather Service. Now the pinks basically showing anywhere from 18 plus inches of snow. We're going to zoom in a little bit closer and add a couple of the individual snow reports on here. This is just off there. They've had over 33 inches of snow. That's Walcott, Connecticut, 36.2 inches in Oxford, Connecticut. So a lot of snow out there. Central Park in New York, they only have about a foot of snow, but man, this was a storm that just started to ramp up here in Wisconsin. You can still see it spinning right now on Viper HD radar. I threw a couple of the uh, buoys on there as well. Now, the good news is the center of that area of low pressure responsible for all the snow has pushed off across uh, out over the ocean now, so there's some good news. But some of these winds still really strong. Sustained winds right now around 40 miles an hour in Boston, gusting up to 55 miles an an hour. They've seen gusts topping 80 miles an hour from this storm system. And of course, those snow bands, anywhere from three plus inches of snow an hour. We just got the start of that, of course, here. About six inches of snow in Milwaukee. Want to just talk about some of the snow that we've seen this year because while we've had a very active February, we're still actually pretty low on snow. We're about a foot below where we're supposed to be. December didn't even get seven inches. January, really low on snow, and that's typical our snow, typically our snowiest month. February, so far, we're at 10.1 inches, so that gives us 21.3 on the year so far. Average on winter, including all of February, 35.1 inches. So, yeah, we're still about a foot below as far as our snow goes. Not going to add anything today. The main concern this morning is going to be that freezing fog advisory. Again, all of southeastern Wisconsin under the freezing fog advisory through 9 o'clock this morning. Just because visibility lowered and some of those water droplets in that fog starting to freeze, especially on the pavement, the driveways, sidewalks. Keep that in mind. This is a live look from Kenosha right now. Visibility starting to improve. We'll see a few more posts. Of sunshine by the end of the day and the high temperatures this afternoon not too bad 32 degrees very close to our average and we'll call it partly cloudy by the afternoon so today the better day out of the weekend if you want to go do a little tubing sledding make some snowmen with the kids with that some of that fresh snow that we've got today is the day to do it because tonight here comes the next storm system cloud cover will be increasing i think we're dry overnight then about five six o'clock in the morning a little bit of freezing rain sneaks into the forecast a brief period of that before after about 9 a.m that changes all over to rain because our high temperature underneath this warm front will be in the 40s. Yeah, warm enough to have the umbrella ready by tomorrow afternoon. Then behind it, colder air spills on in. That means that rain changes back over to some light snow. Not expecting a whole lot of accumulation there, but today definitely the pick day out of the weekend. Light south southeasterly wind today at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Temperatures again pretty close to the freezing mark. After we get rid of this freezing fog, it's going to be a pretty decent day. Then tonight, cloud cover increases. Look at those lows in the 20s upper 20s, so very mild overnight, so if you're headed out and about, should be good for that. And then tomorrow, again, a brief period of some freezing rain, then it changes over to actual rain showers. The winds are going to crank up as well, so it'll be windy, warmer, and wet. Could see a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of rain by the time the storm system exits, then it changes over to a little bit of light snow Sunday night and into Monday. Not expecting much accumulation there, and if you're looking ahead towards Valentine's Day, 37 and partly cloudy time. See